Listen, their suffering is a direct result of what they did to you. Oh, let me say that again. I said their suffering is a direct result of what they did to you. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about your enemies. Child of God, there are some enemies that are in your life. And these enemies has been working against you for such a long time. And you didn't even never, you didn't never notice. Like you never knew this, right? But these people were, you were trying to do certain things and they were behind the scenes, like sabotaging. They were behind the scenes sending witchcraft and, and arrows at your mind and, and things that just make you fall so that you can't progress in the things that you're trying to do, whether it be like, assignments or, or, or projects or whatever it is that you're doing that's trying to, you're trying to do something that's going to uh, move you forward, even in ministry or even in, in life period. And it's a terrible thing um, when you have people that are working against you and you don't know who they are. You don't even realize that a person is doing something against you. But this is not just one person, but this is multiple people that are working together, but they're working together against you, right? And their suffering is a direct result of what they did to you, right? Let's just say, you guys, because now what happens is this person begins to um, get directly in the business of God, right? Now, now it's not after you that they're coming. They're now coming after what God is trying to do through you. Let's just say um, God needs you to pray because he has to give you instructions to do something, right? But then you got this person doing witchcraft, sending arrows at your mind. And so you confused and you don't know what's going on and you can't get your thoughts together. It's because of what they did. But God needs you to sit and hear in the spirit what he's trying to speak to you. He's trying to give you instructions, but because of what they are doing against you, child of God. They're hindering what God wants to do. And it's like God has been dealing with this person over and over. These people over and over and over and over and over, like telling them, like, stop, stop, stop. Just convicting their mind, just convicting them, convicting them. And they just chose not to stop. They chose not to stop, child of God, right? They chose not to stop. And, you know, um, it gets to a point where God is like, okay, okay. It's been going on too long. You're not stopping so now I have to do what I have to do. And God is angry, you guys. And it is so bad to be in the hands of a, a wrathful God, right? I got a scripture. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I got a scripture, you guys. And this 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 word is kind of sad because it's like when God gets like to the point where because you're not listening, he has to do what he has to do, right? So this is uh the book of Jeremiah. Hold up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, in verse 16, right? And here he's talking about Judah, right? And Judah refused. What is it? 7 and 16, right? 7 and 16. Okay. So Judah refused to, to, to make changes, right? They refused to make changes. So the Lord said, oh, Jeremiah 7. Oh, y'all. Hold up. 7 and 16, right? So Judah, they refused to make changes, right? So this is what the Lord said because Jeremiah wanted to continue to pray for them that they make changes, but God got fed up. Now listen, he said, pray no more for these people, right? Jeremiah, pray no more for these people. Do not weep or pray for them and do not beg me to help them for I will not listen to you. God is fed up with whoever this is and who these people are. And you guys, let me tell you this, right? It's crazy because I've experienced this twice. I've experienced this twice, right? I was wondering why things weren't working. Not knowing there was somebody behind the scenes working against what I was doing, right? So nothing was really working because this person or these people was working against what I was doing. And I didn't know. I'm, I'm like, why is this not working? I don't understand I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to, and it just wasn't working, right? So I didn't know, but do you know, both times it was somebody that I least, 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 least expected. And that's crazy. That That is crazy right there, you guys. The person you least expected. Like you, it's like out of all the people that could have did something, it's the very one that you least expected. That, that just blew. 
It's just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? But that person, they had to go through something. And I've seen it. But it's like, God is saying, your prayers aren't even going to work. So it's kind of like, they have to just go through this, right? Because how many know, you see when the Bible says, vengeance is the Lord's, right? But you weren't even aware of this, but it was God that was still protecting you through this struggle and through these things that you were going through, through this witchcraft and through this voodoo and through this sabotage and through this uh, gossiping and through these smear campaigns and through all of this backbiting and everything that they did against you, child of God, they are going to, su actually they're suffering now, right? They're suffering now, but I have another version here um, that I want to read, and this is the easy translation, right? It says, Jeremiah, you must not pray for these people. Do not ask me to help them. If you ask me to save them, I will not listen to you. So these people, you guys, they are really, they're suffering already, but I didn't get a time as to, you know how you can say, oh, they're going to suffer for a couple of months. Like this one is not going to be like, I didn't get a time. So, but it can go on as long as God wants it to go on because you guys, God has to teach us, like he has to teach us not to, um, not even, but he has to teach us to be obedient to him and what he tells us to do. So when you're continuing to be disobedient and he's trying to warn you because there's grace and there's mercy and there's grace and there's mercy and this person exhausted that, they exhausted it, they exhausted it, they exhausted it, right? And that person, you guys, they are being like tormented, like tormented. On, in their mind, like their 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 suffering that's going on uh, mentally in their mind, and their their uh they're going through troubles. They're going through a lot of troubles, right? And they are not at rest on the inside. They're not at rest on the inside, and it's like they're not going to get rest on the inside. It's like you don't want to make God angry, especially like I said, there's things that you guys were doing, even if it's trying to read your Bible, but because you got somebody attacking you behind the scenes, or maybe there's a, a job that God wants to give you, but because this person put a spell on you and causing you not to pros not to be able to prosper in anything you do, it's causing you to struggle. So it's like they're, they're getting directly in the business of God. You know what I'm saying? It's no longer really about you. Though God is trying to get them to stop attacking you, but when you're doing something that is in the plan and in the will and in the purpose of God for your life, and this person is sending arrows and sending uh, uh, all of these witchcraft curses and all of these spells and just working behind the scenes. And it's crazy because it's the very people, I'm telling you, it's the very people that you do not expect. I'm telling you, it just blow your own mind. It just make you like, it's like the last person. You see what I'm saying? But it's like we got to still be kind, you know? You got to still be kind. Because what happens, you guys, what can happen is we can start cutting people out and not allowing people to come into our lives because we've been hurt, you know? And it seems like sometimes the Christian has to take the short end of the stick. It's like, okay, we just got to suffer. We got to be nice to those that's mean to us, you know? But that's what you call Christ-like character. So don't let this change you, right? Don't let this change you, but they are suffering because there is a, di this is a direct, like this is just, this is something that they did against you. And this is the reason why they're going through that, that torment, that suffering, that hard time, right? This is the reason, that torture. This is why they're not going to get rest on the inside, right? I'm just saying, you guys, it's because they got in God's business. God says enough was enough, right? So, you know, God is saying, this is a, this is a, this is kind of a, it's not a good thing when you fall in the hands of an angry God, especially because of disobedience. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been rebuked a couple of times by the Lord, but... It wasn't long, but I learned the lesson, right? So these people, whoever they are and whatever they're, they've done, they're going to know now not to do it again, right? They're going to know that they cannot mess with you, child of God, right? Because God is fighting for you. God is on your side, child of God. God is on your side. But remember this, therefore do not pray for these people, nor lift up a cry and prayer for them, nor make intercession to me for them, for I will not hear you. All right, child of God, so they are suffering as a re direct result of what they did to you.